Anna, and welcome to FM Tahiti. I hope you're well. I hope it's sunny wherever you are. It's nice and warm here currently. Not like Polynesian warm, but, you know, warm for the Midlands, which is north, which is where I'm from, so it'll do me. We're playing Taha, so we're in the kind of last stretch now. Um, so we're third. We need to keep winning. BOCL's drawn, I think, on the 2nd of January, so this is should be our last match before the preliminary rounds are drawn, but I don't know whether the group stages are determined when the preliminary uh, preliminary uh, rounds are drawn or when it's after the pre prelim, so we'll go with that, prelim rounds have been done and dusted. I couldn't work it out last season, still can't work it out now, so I think we've probably got this match and the Uopo match afterwards to potentially make a, a, a run at the second place. Can I dance? So it's hot, it's sandy, we hit Taha at the Vanillas, we hit them, uh, because they knocked us out of the OCL and the Cup last season. Uh, we've still got the title, but really gunning for the OCL. They're a good Cup side at Taha, so they won the OCL, they won the inter Island Cup previously in a few other cups as well I think and they're a strong team so they I think O'Leary is one of the Austral Island international keepers on here 20th goal for Gerard not bad rebound but not bad so they get O'Leary yeah Australis 42 caps they've got Sir Delmes or Sergio Dalmas, this Marquesa, which we, we call him up. Um, they've got Michael Jordan, who's well, I think, plays for good. The free kick spearing, and only second, he's not prolific. When he first came on the scene as a Golden Generation youth product, one of many Golden Generations, he looked like he might be able to pop up with a few goals from midfield. Uh, you've got Michael Jordan, who also plays for Marquesa, who we've been. Capping, he's been playing well for us on the international side. They've got Narandona, so he spent most of the last season unattached and unemployed. And they picked him up towards the end, six foot five, thirteen stone, bit of a beast. Um, he looks all right. Um, anything? Oh, we're done. Well, yeah, actually, let's look at the league table. So he could still do a job, but he's getting on a bit. 42 caps, 4 goals, well experienced. And they've also got Park Dong Suk, unfortunately named. We got him in on a trial, so our scout saw him, we brought him in trial, and then because we brought him in on a trial, the other teams could see him, so he got picked up, and he's he wasn't worth the risk for us, because we had our strikes pretty good. Always had reasonable options, apart from maybe the first season and a half. Um... But he's been doing well in French Polynesia. Assuming as the differences in language, no one's teasing him for his name. Which he get teased for if he was in English speaking league. Dongsa probably doesn't translate the same in French. Or Tahitian. Oh Dalwin turns him. Oh, what a tackle. That is Thank you, Mikel Jordan. Thank you for. I think he's done that because he knows his international manager is also watching this game. His international manager appreciates those two-footed lunges. Reward him with a call-up <laughs> for the Marquesa national side. That uh, that was just anger, wasn't it? You often get to see that expressed so well in the match engine. Another goal, bounce back out from Yannin to make a sub. Uh, it's from. Bouvelet, Moses might be shook up after that attempt on his life. Cormac on for Andre, Keith on for Gerard. Because Yannin's on for his um, hat trick, potentially. No, he's only got the one goal. Spearling's got the other one. You don't often get to see that kind of petulant rage um, in the game. So it's, I think, it's a nice touch from the match engine. If 
full-blooded tackle, that's what that was. So this is potentially painful. So we're beating Taha 3-0, which is good. It's always nice to have some revenge and get the points in, on the board. They didn't get a single shot, we shut them out. So again, that's... I mean, they had full team for just over an hour, so that's no excuse for not getting a shot. So it's a good sign in that we can beat them and beat them well. But if we look at the league, we're a point behind Huahin. And we don't play Uapoa till the 7th. And the group stage for the OCL, or the preliminary group stage draw, is on the 2nd of January. So I don't know if we've just missed out. Um, so Tetero are first, and it's not saying they've got continental competition. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to come back and have a look. We'll play Uapoa in this episode as well. And then if it's not sorted out then we'll come back for the Huaheen uh, match. Um, Tara match or the Tetero match or something like that, depending on what goes on with the OCL. But our form's looking good. So if we were to miss out on the OCL by a single point, it would be massively disappointing considering the poor start we made. But we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so we're back. We've got Uapo to play, which I mentioned before. The Eels are playing on a, are playing against AS Chance. If we look at the table, that's not a great match for us. By the way, I guess a draw or a win for AS Chance, as long as we win ours, be the best. Um, but because they're just above and just below us, we're kind of scuppered either way. All we can do is just try and play our match. We've um, put a trial offering for this guy, Zoran Blodjanic, or Jancic. Actually looks really good. And he's going to be my gift to the club, I guess, as I leave. Sign him. Probably going to sign him. His wages are actually... He's more about 375, which isn't too bad. Um, but he might be coming along. Otherwise, not much has happened in between two games. It's actually quite a useful scouting match for me, because Uopo and Marquesan side will be able to get to see some Marquesan players uh, in the flesh. See if they do any good, but first and foremost, we just need to win. I did that kind of check where you go through the club status to see what continental competition it says. And for well, um, <coughs> Tetero, it says they're in the um, OCL. For us, it says we're in the OCL even though we're third. And then for the Eels, who are second, it doesn't say anything. Almost bounced in that one. So if it's the top two, it should really be Tetero and the Eels who have that on them. I don't know why. I mean, because we've not been second. There we go, Pons. Sort of tapping. See, I don't know why it's saying it's us and Tetero and it's first and third, not first and second. But we had this issue last season. And because we've had it so consistently, I think the issue probably just is that it's broken. It can't deal with the fact that it's this isn't our end of season, it's our mid-season. I think one of the things I would do for the edited database next year for FM20 is probably just change the calendar year so that we're actually in sync with the um, OCL. So we finish maybe our season um, just before Christmas Day or something like that. So whoever's top by the end of the year gets into the OCL no matter what, just make it nice and clear to make that kind of final run in um, more than just the kind of title, it's also the qualification, but that's, that's for next year. Controlling the game well enough. Come on, Dolan. Got him to sign a new contract. So I wanted to keep the squad as strong as possible, even if I might not be around. I want the humpbacks not to kind of just fade away. You know that kind of thing that FM does where the AI dismantle your squad, or I guess they can also do a thing where they just don't play the, the right players in the right places, but. I don't want the squad just to be disappeared, sort of disappeared and scattered across all the different islands. I want them to, the core of it to stay there so the humpbacks have got a chance. 
it will just plummet. Which is what you see sometimes. That was unfortunate. An own goal for, for Moses just because Lamb smacked it against him. He had no idea what was going on. Changes things a bit. Just smacked it against his head. He did well to stay standing up. So his chance uh, of winning. I guess a, oh no, I was going to say a draw for us might work. We're currently drawing it. We're a point behind, so we need that win. Grind out this win. Out playing them, just running out of steam a little bit, I think. Kind of the fact that seems to be their highlight. We go. Renix the ball. Yanin's through, a little lucky. Everything was good until the finish. Almost came to something. Again. Spearling might be coming off. Bruno McCormick. Comes fresh legs in the form of uh, of LA. Sis. Don't really want to do much else at the moment. Oh, I just need a goal. Yes. Oh, that's so bad. <coughs> just a bit of a scramble. That's the closest we're going to come, I think. Sit the big man on. Twenty seven shots to their eight. Fifteen on target to their one, and it's one all. No goal. Get it in. There we go. That's what champions do. Keep calling it now. Good assist by Pons. Really poor defending by them as well, though. I thought we were going to get another then, just be cheeky. Go from 1 all to 3 1 in the last couple of minutes. So that does sneak us in second. There we go. Win well done. So that squeaks us just into second. Although, the, if you look at the Oceana Champions League, the preliminary rounds already been drawn. Again, looking at the schedule, it's in the draws tomorrow. That wasn't there before. We crept in. Rounds out till here. So maybe the second is when the prelim rounds are drawn, and then the eighth is when let's, let's go forward a match. Assistant to do this, I've got more important things to do than talk to the press.
Yeah, see, try and be nice to the, the managers until I need to kick off. New record, 13 games unbeaten. So, to make off for Richards. So Richards wants to leave. I don't know about whether he does or not, to be honest. Adjustment to get him in. Oh, we've signed him. I thought for a second it looked like we were going to sign him. He was delayed. He looks all right. Came all the way from Maribor. Get a language course. Get welcomed. Early draw. So it seems to have passed. Yeah, so it's drawn on the 8th, it's now the 9th. Apparently we are in USCL. It's the... They're also in the USCL. Oh, so the eels aren't this chance. I think can qualify. It's us. I didn't think about that. We could have let our AS chance go above us and they still wouldn't have been able to qualify because they're not allowed in the continental competitions. So there we go. We'll we'll end here. It looks like it. I don't want to jinx it, but it looks like we've squeezed in to the OCL. I'm really not sure about how those final deadlines work, but it's worked for us again just left it to the last possible moment to get in. Thanks very much for watching. Um, see you for the next episode. Mm -hmm.